Greetings, history enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where we embark on captivating journeys through the annals of time. Today, we have a fascinating topic to explore, the Golden Age, the Zhou Dynasty. The Zhou Dynasty, spanning from around 1046 BCE to 256 BCE, was a remarkable period in Chinese history, characterized by tremendous political, social, and cultural development. It earned its title as the Golden Age of China for the profound impact it had on shaping the country's future. The story of the Zhou Dynasty begins with the ambitious King Wu of the Zhou, who successfully overthrew the preceding Shang Dynasty, initiating a new era in Chinese civilization. This transition marked a pivotal shift from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age, introducing revolutionary changes to the socio-political landscape. Under the Zhou rulers, a feudal system was established which allowed for effective governance over the vast territory. The king granted land to loyal nobles, who in turn governed their regions, maintaining stability and providing military support when needed. The Zhou dynasty's governance was also deeply rooted in religious and moral principles. The concept of the Mandate of Heaven played a significant role, asserting that the ruler's legitimacy was bestowed by divine approval. This belief not only ensured the ruler's authority, but also imposed a moral responsibility to govern justly. One of the notable achievements of the Zhou dynasty was the establishment of a centralized bureaucracy. The king appointed officials to administer various aspects of the government, facilitating more efficient governance and setting a precedent for future dynasties. During the Eastern Zhou period, which can be further divided into the Spring and Autumn period and the Warring States period, China experienced a flourishing of culture and intellectual activity. It was a time of great philosophical insights, with influential thinkers such as Confucius and Laozi emerging, laying the groundwork for two prominent schools of thought, Confucianism and Taoism. However, the later part of the Eastern Zhou witnessed intense warfare and political instability during the Warring States period. Powerful regional states engaged in fierce conflicts, competing for dominance and territorial control. It was a time of innovation in military tactics and strategies. Despite the turmoil, the Zhou dynasty left an indelible mark on Chinese civilization. It fostered advancements in agriculture, technology, art, and literature, setting the stage for future periods of Chinese history. Join us on this incredible journey through the Golden Age of China as we delve deeper into the remarkable achievements and enduring legacy of the Zhou dynasty. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating historical explorations. Until next time, fellow history enthusiasts! The Zhou dynasty, also known as the Golden Age of China, was a period of significant political, social, and cultural development that spanned from around 1046 BCE to 256 BCE. It is divided into two major periods, the Western Zhou, 1046 to 771 BCE, and the Eastern Zhou, 770 to 256 BCE. The Zhou Dynasty was founded by King Wu of the Zhou, who overthrew the Shang Dynasty, marking the transition from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age in China. Under the rule of the Zhou Dynasty, the feudal system was established which allowed the king to maintain control over the vast territory by granting land to loyal nobles, who in turn governed and provided military support. During the Western Zhou period, the dynasty experienced relative stability and prosperity. The rulers maintained their authority through a combination of moral virtue, religious rituals, and the concept of the Mandate of Heaven. The Mandate of Heaven asserted that the ruler's legitimacy was granted by divine approval but it could be revoked if the ruler failed to govern justly. This belief system helped to maintain social order and provided a moral framework for governance. One of the most notable achievements of the Zhou dynasty was the development of a centralized bureaucracy. The king appointed officials to administer various aspects of the government, such as taxation, justice, and military affairs. This administrative system allowed for more effective governance and laid the foundation for future dynasties. The Eastern Zhou period is further divided into two sub-periods, the Spring and Autumn period, 770-476 BCE, and the Warring States period, 475-221 BCE. 
During the spring and autumn period, China experienced a flourishing of culture and intellectual activity. The era was marked by the rise of powerful regional states, increasing commerce, and the emergence of prominent philosophers such as Confucius and Laozi, the founder of Taoism. However, the later part of the Eastern Zhou, known as the Warring States period, was characterized by intense warfare and political instability. The regional states engaged in frequent conflicts, vying for dominance and territorial control. This period witnessed the development of innovative military tactics and strategies, as well as advancements in agriculture, technology, and philosophy. Despite the turbulence of the Warring States period, it also laid the groundwork for the eventual unification of China. The states of Qin, Chu, Xi, Yan, Han, Wei, and Zhao emerged as the most powerful contenders, and after decades of warfare, the state of Qin emerged victorious, establishing the Qin dynasty in 221 BCE. The Zhou dynasty's lasting impact on Chinese civilization cannot be overstated. It established the precedent of a centralized government, emphasized the importance of moral virtue and leadership, and laid the foundation for Confucianism and Taoism, two influential philosophies that continue to shape Chinese society. The dynasty also witnessed remarkable advancements in agriculture, technology, art, and literature, setting the stage for subsequent periods of Chinese history. The Zhou dynasty is remembered as a time of remarkable cultural and intellectual flourishing, earning its place as one of the most significant periods in Chinese history.